If this is your very first time joining us, welcome. My name is Stephanie. You're going to want to grab your Bible, a notebook, and something to write with. This month, we're talking about knowledge, and God is always teaching us new and important things. Knowledge is learning something new so that you can be better at whatever you do. You know what? I think it's time for us to get started in three, two, one. Who's got their thinking caps on today? Well, if not, you better put it on because you're gonna need it. We're about to play Bible Name or Element. The rules are simple. I'll read a name and you have to decide if you think it's from the Bible or from the periodic table. If you think it's from the Bible, then cheer and clap as loud as you can. But if you think it's from the periodic table, then I want you to throw your head back and laugh like a mad scientist. <laughs> okay, you get the idea. Easy enough, right? Let's begin. Here's our first word. Manganese. Remember, if you think this is a Bible name, clap and cheer. But if you think it is from the periodic table, then laugh like a mad scientist. Time's up. Who's laughing? Well, you can keep laughing because you're right. Manganese is from the periodic table. All right, let's try another. Ephraim. Time's up. Are you laughing? If so, you should be clapping. Ephraim is the name of Joseph's second son in the Bible. Here's the next one. Habakkuk. Time's up. Are you clapping? If so, you're correct. Habakkuk was a prophet in the Old Testament. Well done. See if you can figure this one out. Sargin. Time's up. Who's laughing? Because you should be clapping. Sargon is an Assyrian king from the Old Testament. Here's the next one. Oxygen. Time's up. Is everyone laughing now? Because oxygen is from the periodic table. Here's the last one, Epaphras. Time's up. Is everyone clapping? If so, you're right, because Epaphras is a friend of Paul from the New Testament in the Bible. Great job, everyone. Go ahead and give yourself a high five. Hi, TC Kids. I am Alejandra, and today I get to share with you the bottom line. And I wrote it down in my notebook. Okay, and you should do it too. Do you know what the bottom line is? No, nope. but this is what it is. Never stop searching for what is true. Say it with me. Never stop searching for what is true. I'm gonna write it out again in my notebook, okay? 
never stop searching for what is true. Oh, don't forget to write it down in your notebook. Hey, was it your first time checking out TC Kids? That means that you are a VIP. Now, VIP stands for very important person, and that is you. So click the link below right here that says I'm new to TC Kids. Can't wait to meet you. It's time to learn the memory verse. This month's memory verse comes from Proverbs 2.6. And it says, the Lord gives wisdom. Knowledge and understanding come from his mouth. Wow, what a cool memory verse. Today, we're in the first book of the New Testament, Matthew. But before Matthew, in the very beginning, out of deep love, God made an amazing world. But when people turn away from God, the world was broken. God made a plan to draw people back to relationship. So at the right time, God sent a tiny baby to be born in the small town of Bethlehem, God's very own son, Jesus. Which is where our story starts. Take it away. Hey, hey Erica. Erica. Hey, y'all. So we don't exactly know how the wise men discovered what the star meant. Look at that new star rising in the west. It's so bright. Surely it means something. But 
they may have known about Daniel, who had been taken as a captive from Jerusalem to Babylon hundreds of years before. Daniel had been an advisor to the king and would have shared the Jewish scriptures and promises from God with his fellow advisors. Look here, in the Jewish scroll of Numbers, a star will come from among the people of Jacob. A king will rise up out of Israel. A brand new baby king. Whether the wise men figured out what the star meant from ancient writings, or God spoke to them directly, they did not waste time in doing something with their newfound knowledge. The wise men packed up supplies and gifts and set out on what would have been an epic road trip across the desert. They followed the star for months or even longer over ancient roads and through steep mountain passes. At last, they arrived in the city of Jerusalem. Where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose. Now we've come to worship him. Word of these exotic visitors quickly made its way to King Herod at the palace. Now, Herod had been appointed ruler of Judea by Roman Caesar, but the position was not secure. The last thing he wanted was some upstart new king to challenge him. So he called for the Jewish priests and teachers of the law. Where is this Jewish Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem. <laughs> How do you know? The prophet Micah, your majesty. He says, but you, Bethlehem in the land of Judah, are certainly not the least important among the towns of Judah. A ruler will come out of you. He will rule my people Israel like a shepherd. Oh, well, I see. Have these uh, wise men come see me, huh? Keep it on the down low. The wise men soon arrived at the palace. King Herod asked to know when the star had appeared and tried to put on a good face on his fear and brewing anger. I want you to go to Bethlehem for me. Search for this child and report back when you find him. Then I can go and um, worship him. <laughs> King Herod had no intention of honoring Jesus. In fact, he wanted to get rid of him, but the wise men didn't know this. They went on their way and were filled with joy when they saw the star again. It went ahead of them until it stopped right over the place where Jesus and his family were staying. Look, it stopped. This must be the place. I'll knock. The wise men were welcomed into the home by Mary and Joseph. By this time, Jesus was a young child, and the wise men offered him beautiful gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. These were not your average baby shower gifts. In fact, these were the kind of gifts that would be given to a powerful king. It was just one more sign of who Jesus was and would become. At last, the wise men left Jesus to begin their long journey home. They planned to return to Herod as they had been asked but thankfully, God spoke to the wise men in a dream and warned them not to go back to Herod. So, the wise men chose a different road for their trip home. The end. Today, you can make Jesus the leader of your life by praying a simple prayer. Bow your head, close your eyes, and repeat this after me. Dear God, thank you for sending your son, Jesus. I believe he lived, died, and rose again just for me. Today I give you my life. Change me, renew me, transform me. I'm yours. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, if you just prayed that prayer and asked Jesus into your life, we want to be the first to say, way to go. Welcome to God's family. We have a couple next steps for you. First, you just made the best decision ever and it's time to let someone know. Tell your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister, tell everyone. And then let us know by clicking the I Choose Jesus link below. You also might be wondering, how can I grow in my relationship with God? Well, this starts with reading your Bible and prayer.
the Bible is full of amazing stories, and prayer is simply talking with God. Lastly, you are now a part of a TC Kids family. So to be sure to keep hanging out with us as we learn more from God's Word and have a ton of fun doing it. Woo! Yeah, 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 woo! Oh, sorry, you're probably wondering why I'm celebrating. Well, that's because it might be your first time here. And if so, that is amazing. We actually call our first time guests V-I-P. I I remember what P is for the thing, but V-I-P. And it stands for very important person. And that's what you are. So here's what I need you to do. If it's your first time here, be sure to click the I'm new to TC Kids link right down below. That just lets us know that you're here so we can get a little information to walk you in to the family. Remember, you're a VIP. Okay, TC Kids, I had so much fun hanging out with you today. Listen, we learned our bottom line to never stop searching for what is true. And some of you probably started to memorize our memory verse out of Proverbs 2, 6. The Lord gives wisdom, knowledge, and understanding come from his mouth. If you liked this experience, give it a thumbs up. Let us know by hitting that like and subscribe button below. We love you. God loves you. And we'll see you right back here on TC Kids. Bye.